All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're gonna to be looking at Straco. This is a an AI content writer and an image AI image creator as well. So we're gonna be jumping in. So this one is specifically trying to offer an all-in-one solution for AI powered copy and graphics that made it easy to produce winning content on autopilot. We'll go check, check out the website in a minute. Best for content creators, entrepreneurs, curious entrepreneurs, small business, copy AI and Jasper alternative, chat GPT 3.5 turbo. But I did see something in there that also shows GPT 4 as well. So I'm not really sure about that. I've already kind of checked out the software, stability AI integrations as well and so forth, right? So we'll keep scrolling through here and I like to skip to the CEO and creator we've got over here, Arturo. We can read a little bit about their background and why they created the tool. I do like to go and see if the product has a roadmap, which it does. We'll click on that and go check that out real quick. Here is the Straco's public roadmap. Here you'll find a detailed overview of the upcoming features, updates, and releases. So we have speech to text STT integration with a Whisper AI, convert spoken words into written transcripts using Whisper and OpenAI. So convert spoken word into written transcripts. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So you would probably be able to plug in your YouTube videos or something like that, and then it will pop out the transcripts for them. So that's pretty cool, especially if you're like me and you run multiple YouTube channels and you want to create blog posts from the unique content that you are creating, then that's where this would come in effortlessly document upload and query AI art video generator. This would be cool to effortlessly transform text prompts into captivating art videos. This is something I'm really interested in. So it would be really cool if that is something that they can offer. GPT-4 integration, upgrade your conversations with GPT-4, customize your chat assistant based on your preferences with our, with or without a key. Good, good stuff right there. So I want to see over here, this is the boards, bug completed. Okay, so they have feature requests, bugs completed right over here. So we can click, hopefully we can sort by. So they have completed this one over here. I'm not really sure I'll be able to show that in this demo right here. Uh, effortlessly document, uh, upload and query, upload any PDF file and they'll utilize ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. 16k token to query your extensive corp corpus document so you can maybe maybe you can well it says pdf so you can't really utilize it with excel files that's something that i'm interested in but so they do have a nice road roadmap okay so we'll come through here let's look at the pricing we'll scroll right up here what do you get with license tier one it's 49 dollars you get 100,000 words per month, 250 images per month. License tier two, $79, unlimited words per month, 500 images per month. So let's just say you have unlimited words per month. Let's say you're going to use, let's just say for example, you want to do three blog posts per day times 30 days in the month. And what you're, let's say you want to go 90, right? If you're going to be creating blog posts with a, an AI content generation tool like this, it's going to be more manual. Anyways, you're probably going to be focusing on quality content, doing your own thing, kind of a little bit, what I now call kind of the old school content writing methods, AI content generation methods, you know, back in, back in the word hero and those kind of uh, softwares, which can still be relevant depending on which way you look at it. But it is a a lot different than using tools like Agility and Koala and so forth, right? Where you can click a button and have an amazing article spun out in amazing stru content structures, lists, tables, all that kind of stuff. You're probably not going to get that in a, one of these, what I call kind of an old school writer, but there are advantages because at the end of the day, it's the content. You just want the content from these tools, right? But let's just say you're going to use it three times a day and you're going to go 90. So out of those 90 articles, we would go with 500 images divided by 90 articles, you would be able to put five images on each article. So this would definitely be enough. I think that license tier two really, really is the one that I would go after. I probably wouldn't go after license tier one on this one. I just think that a hundred thousand words is just not enough in an AI tool these days and 250 images. But with them saying that they will be adding in the GVT4, did it say something about not not charging any more extra coins? You don't want to do your research on that, but I still would go with license tier two on this one. 
you're going to get unlimited words. It's just, you're going to get the most bang, bang for your buck. But if you add in another $50, you can have 2000 images. So it really just matters how much you like the tool and how much you're going to use the tool. I would recommend starting off at license tier one or two. And then if you really, really enjoy the tool and you can find a ton of use for it, then I would go ahead and come back and upgrade to license tier three. Overall pricing, it looks pretty good on this one depending on how you look at it. I mean, the unlimited words, you can't really beat that. And then you, you're you getting 500 AI images. It just depends on how good the images are, right? I like to scroll down and look at the product reviews. Looks like they have some good reviews. This one right here is a three-star review. You can check that one out, but it looks like they're responsive the the support and it looks like it is the creator that is responding it might be a smaller team that created this tool kind of reminds me of niches on on this uh, on AppSumo that's been on here for uh, the last couple years that is run by a very small team even one person and but they know their tool they built it from the ground ground up but it looks like it's getting mostly good reviews we come right back up here you can see that it's averaging it only has that three star reviews and the rest of them are five stars so i mean it's it's getting good reviews so far we'll go check it out real quick jump into the tool i've already done some some messing around with the tool already. I want to get jump right into the images right now. <clears throat> you can see some of the images that it has created. That is one of the things that really at this point, the only tool that I think if you're going to be using heavy human AI generated images, the only one that you can really use right now is mid journey. I mean, I don't even think stable diffusion really does justice to creating human. And I don't know what Leonardo.ai is running off of, but that tool as well can do almost anything that mid journey can do. Those are the really only two tools, I guess I should say is Leonardo.ai and mid journey that will just blow anything you put in there out of the water is just un unreal images. But when you can get tools like this, I mean, there was a couple in here that did pretty good. Like this one right here, this was a man right here. I think it did a really good job on this one. I'm on a free account right now, so I can't enhance this. I can't click the enhance button. And I also couldn't get a different size because I'm on a free. We can see I got a man that is successful and in his business meeting and he's the leader make this a photorealistic cinematic high definition so it did pretty good on that one this one has some weird hands this one it did i would say second best it just has a weird eye right over here you could probably fix that the hands are a little weird right there too but at a, at a quick glance it looks pretty good but again the hands are weird and the, the eye right there so out of the four there was one that was probably considered usable and the other three not we come over here you can see really weird hands things going on here and then the faces are messed up really messed up right there so definitely human wise it's going to be hit and miss that's probably going to be 25 percent of the time you're going to get possibly a usable image but then when you start using different prompts up here you can see the that this is where it's really going to shine anything that's nature or coloring book related or anything like that digital art related it's going to do really well you can do wall art with this you could put, pick this up if you're going to sell you know digital designs on etsy and, and stores like that so there's definitely ways to use the ai that it's spitting out and the good thing is is that when you tell it to spit out four images look you could actually tell it to spit out 10 images and it will create 10 similar images so you could create packs of 10 right and you could upload those on etsy and things like that so just a little quick business idea definitely works this one over here i said elementary school lion clip art and then right over here and we got some you know about we're about 80 to 90 percent there this one was pretty decent he's it looks like he's holding a coloring pencil right there so this one would actually be passable for sure there's a couple kind of weird ones. I don't know what the lion's carrying in his arm right there, but most of this is pretty, really pretty good, right? This one, he's it's like he's got a pencil on his tail, so really couldn't couldn't use that one. It's kind of weird. And then you have this one over here that looks really good as well. So I'd, I'd say out of that one, there's like two to three that you could use. So the, the images seem like they, they take quite a bit of tokens. It looks like each run was taking about 80 tokens or something like that from me but you basically select down here what size you want again i can't select my size because apparently i'm on the free version and of course they dumb it down for people that just want to test the software out so you can choose how many images right here and you can see the coins right here going up or down i'm okay with the coin system in this particular software because they are managing it and you can just see it just subtracts coins and increases coins and you they're very transparent about everything about how much everything costs so overall you can come up here 
and you can put in right here what you want it to create for you. If I have any more tokens, I'll come back and we'll do an image at the end, but I wanted to save the rest of my 38 tokens to do some writing. You can also say exactly what you don't want right here. You can also do your in image enhancing over here with all kinds of different filters and so forth. So overall, I mean, it's pretty darn cool. You can also upload an image right here and have it create based off of that image. So I think that has some pretty good features in here. Before we go into the main part, the chat and writing part, we'll come over here and you can look at anything that you do inside of here. You'll see that it took 80 tokens and exactly what it took, right? You can't click inside of here and go back, but it just tells you how it's deducting, right? They do have a tutorial video at the top. It's like a 30 second little, little video. Cards, you have rewards over here. Not really sure what that is and alerts over here. So very simple, very simple interface. I'll go over to the chat. This is where I think that they have the, the kind of the best part of the interface. I think it's pretty cool. You just come down here and you can actually create your own tool over here it'll cost a little bit more at five, four tokens per prompt use but you can actually come over here and have your custom prompt over here description name and then you can save that prompt so i do think that that's a pretty cool feature to have we have our writing summarized points grammar fixer text amplifier so again just a lot of the different things that you would expect in a writer like this. They do have chat with your own personal AI assistant. Ask them anything you want currently running on GPT 3.5 turbo or GPT four. So they already have GPT four in here. You can see right over here, it's on GPT four. If I turn that off, we're on the, the tokens go. Oh, okay. So if we select that off, we are using GPT four. It's going to take a lot of tokens. So I'm not going to use that. We're on 3.5 right here. So it's pretty minimal on the token use. We'll come over here, affiliate marketing, I think expert affiliate product reviews. So let's just say we have our product name and let's just go and say surfer SEO and let's just say content AI SEO content optimization tool that helps you rank your content on Google. A review draft pros cons works really well ranks your content easy to use cons will just say expensive compared to other options something like that right and then i'm not sure what we're supposed to put in the draft right over here i'm just going to say insert oh okay and then what that is is that is Creating a prompt, act as a content writer tasked with creating an exceptional affiliate product review, showcasing a specific product, write a detailed and comprehensive review, boom, boom, boom. But we don't have, oh, okay. So it gave that entire prompt in there, right? And then we keep going. Remember to be specific and provide examples or anecdotes if possible. After discussing the pros, it's important to address the cons of the product, okay? And then we have this all filled out right here. I don't have a review draft right there. I guess if you wanted to put in an, uh, uh, specifically what you think of the software, that would be great. So I'm gonna go ahead and push enter. Let's see what it's going to do. So here's this giant prompt right here. So I do like this. This is the kind of prompt engineering that you would expect when you get good results using ChatGPT or other tools like Claude too. You're going to need to feed it this much information to get good content. So here we go. We've got some content coming out right here, introducing the, so I said surfer. Oh no, I did. I messed up. I said surger. Dang it. Okay. No problem. I, d I made a mistake right there, but anyways, AI content generation tool. Are you struggling to get your content to rank on Google? Look no further than the Serger SEO, an advanced AI powered content optimization tool that is designed to help you boost your website's ranking and drive more organic traffic. Let's dive into a detailed review of this exceptional product. The Serger SEO is a game changer when it comes to content optimization. It's powerful AI algorithms, okay? So it's making stuff up. I didn't say anything about AI algorithms, but it sounds good. One of the standout features of Surge is its ability to accurately target keywords and optimize them for content accordingly. It's really coming up with some really relevant information that I did not feed it. So I think that's really, really good. 
The Surger SEO's performance is truly exceptional. Users have reported significant improvements in their website rankings. So we didn't, we also didn't feed it that. You're not gonna, that's not bad, you know, to put in your review. I think that if we would have filled out the review portion and customized it, that's where you're gonna wanna fill it out as much as possible. And I think it's going to, so this part is very impressive actually. In conclusion, the Surger SEO is a powerful AI-driven content optimization tool that we can re that can revolutionize your website's ranking potential with its advanced algorithms using friendly blah, 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 blah. If you're ready to take your con content to the next level and reach new heights on search engines, I highly recommend giving Surger SEO a try. Check out the product page for more information. And then there's a link. So that is pretty cool. How many words was this? It doesn't tell me how many words. It's looking like it's about 500 words. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this real quick. And we're gonna check. So we've got 450 words right there, not, not bad. And that only took two, to two tokens. So that's pretty cool. We can also come in and edit again if we wanted to. We can go back and look at different things that we've done before. And of course they have just a bunch more stuff Explain to me like I'm five, prompt enhancer, career development, job resume stuff in here. So they have a full AI writing tool over here that I think is pretty decent over here. The interface is very, very easy to use. Everything is very simple. There's two main tools inside of Straco, which is the chat for content writing and then you have your image right image creation right here so if you did want an all-in-one this would be a tool to pick up because i definitely would recommend license tier 2 because you're getting that for 79 bucks you're getting unlimited content right so that's unlimited words when we come back over here that's going to be unlimited anything inside this box which is going to be from the chat section i don't know if the unlimited includes the 4.0 if it does then it would be kind of game changing because you'd get the power of 4.0 i don't know if they specify that or not but that would be something that would be interesting unlimited words per month i don't think there's i don't think that it would be on the four i don't i don't see how it's specified over there or not um, i would just be mindful of that or if you're in, very interested in that i would maybe ask them if the unlimited includes the four or not. I would make a guess that it does not include the chat GPT four down here, turning, turning that on right here. Cause we know that it costs money in order to use chat GPT four, but overall simple user interface. I think that it created some strong content. It has some strong prompting over here as well. You, the fact that you can create your own prompts and save basically almost creating your own tool that part I really, really like. We'll go over here and just create, show you how the image, every time you come in here, it's going to give you a new prompt, a just random prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this right now. I'm actually gonna just, let's just run it, I guess, with the four. Nope, image is sold out. So let's just go and run this real quick. Image is sold out. Yeah, I used all the images, sorry guys. <laughs> So overall, my final thoughts, pricing is pretty on par. Like I said, I'd go with license tier two or three. If you're in a need of a tool like this where you can get unlimited words on license tier two or higher and you have an AI, it's definitely not the worst AI generator that I've seen. It says that it's using latest stable diffusion models. And so that's why we're getting some pretty good AI images out of that. I just wanna be careful with the human generated AI. And this is one of those things where if you pick this up, right, and you only need 500 images or 2000 images, here's who this software is for, if I can try to answer that, is that if you don't wanna pay for mid journey 10 to $30 a month and you are you know running a blog and you don't mind kind of having just a little bit less image quality if you will then you can pay one time $79 and you would basically have an entire blog writing package with AI images built in and that would be probably who this tool would be best suited for so that's it the link will be below if you guys want to go check out Straco overall I thought it was pretty good I will see you in the next video